Welcome back to Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Presented by Great Southern Bank, Labor's Local 663, Shelter Insurance Agents Grant Baker in Aurora, and Sean Holman in Lockwood. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here for Christmas. Going back down to Webb City once again, and we welcome in Coach John Roderick and Coach Roderick. Hey, congratulations on a great win over Jackson. Yeah, thanks, guy. Um, man, what a what a what a fantastic day it was. Uh, you know, you wake up in uh, late November, uh, Saturday. And you never know what you're going to get, you know, in terms of weather. But it was a it was a beautiful day, first of all, and and uh, you know, Jackson's a program that they've they've won a lot of games, uh, played in the last two Class Five state championship games, uh, and they've got a fantastic team, uh, you know, and. And uh, when, when you play somebody like that, you really don't know, uh, you don't know much about them. You know, you, you, you see them on film and you go, well, this, this player here is pretty good and you hear stuff and you read stuff, but, but you really don't know until you get on the field. And they, you know, they certainly looked, uh, they looked really, really good when we, you know, when we, uh, you know, first saw them in uniform and, and, uh, you know, they had a great crowd there. Uh, we had a good crowd, and and uh, it was just a great day of football. Obviously, for us, uh, we got off to a really good start in the first half. Uh, offensively, our defense was playing really well, and then uh, you know I, you know, felt like uh, you know that was the biggest the the biggest key was just how well we started. You know, offensively. As you head into this 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 game with Hull, three out of your last four opponents would have been undefeated going into your game. And then that the outlier is, is, is a very good Lebanon team. And that the, probably you could consider yourself underdogs in each one of those four games going back to Carthage all the way through Holt. Is it safe to say that the Cardinals have adopted or even embraced that underdog role? There, there's no question about that <laughs> uh, guy. You know, it's this, this is a place that we, we're kind of relishing that, uh, you know, that, that uh, place and you know got a little chip on our shoulder about it and and uh, but but I mean rightfully so I mean we you know you you earn that when when you you know in this game I mean you earn you earn everything you get whether whether it's the you know whatever your your record is or you know maybe people respecting you or whatever and not that we feel disrespected I mean we you know we weren't a very good football team uh, you know in some parts of our season this year and and, uh, you know, so, you know, like uh, we've been really just telling our kids, I mean, you know, and, and I've, I've said this to our kids, I told them you know, this, you know, before the Carthage game or maybe after the Carthage game or whatever, but, you know, I mean, you, you can look at Carthage and look at Web City and, and, you know, two teams have had a lot of success in football over the last several years. I mean, you know, it was really, really, uh, proud moment in 2019 we both uh, won state championships and you know two different classes and, and that was fantastic but I told our kids I said you know guys I said for 11 games because we both had buys in the first round of our district I said for 11 games they've been a better team than we have the only thing that matters is who's better tonight you know in this in this in this district championship game and kind of it's kind of been the same you know the same uh you know, philosophy, I guess, or, you know, that's kind of our MO this year. It's like, you know, it doesn't matter who, doesn't matter, you know, what, it's just a matter of, you know, are you, are you willing to go out there and, and lay it on the line every night? And, uh, you know, really proud of our kids. Gosh, the effort we played with uh, on Saturday, uh, just, just the, the physicality of it. And, uh, you know, heck, I, I was sore after that game, you know, just watching, watching that thing, but uh, kids played really well. You know, you, you mentioned that 2019 season, and you go back to that 2019 season, that day uh, that Carthage won that state title, that was the last time that Jackson lost a game prior to you guys. They don't, they don't want to see any more COC schools. Uh, right. Won 26 in a row in the middle of that. Yeah, well, they're, they're a fine team. I mean, they're they're well, really well-coached team. They, they, their kids play hard. They're, they're good. You know, I mean, sportsmanship's great on the field, and and, uh, you know, they, they're just, they do everything right. And, and uh, you know, I, I would say I probably mentioned that a time or two, you know, about uh, about their last their last loss. I, I You know, I I think 26, they, they knew how many games they had won in a row. I can assure you of that. Our kids did. 
Very good. And you know, going back to that game, Wilson has a big day for you. Four touchdowns, 100, 139 yards. And if I'm not mistaken, he may have blocked that that extra point. Um, and I, actually, I think it was Billy Wolf that did that, it, or either that or by uh, Brenton Wilson, one of those two guys. We they they do a unique uh, they do a unique thing on their on their extra points and. Our guys, you know, that's all credit to Coach Derryberry for for preparing our kids for it, and and you know they had a chance to do it, and and that first very first one we got, that kind of gives you a little bit of a, you know, it's only one point, but it certainly make gives you a little bit of a bump, I think, and a boost whenever whenever those kind of things happen. Hey, going into the state championship, and here's just a a little stat as you go in from eight man football through class five, there are twelve teams participating, with Web City being one of them. The other eleven teams have a combined eight losses. Uh, here you are at sitting with three losses. You finish fourth in your conference. Uh, you know, this has got to be a time where you, you're maybe the underdogs four consecutive games. You got to go back to 19, what, 95 when you were the underdog four, t- four games in a row. Uh, it, it's got to be a special feeling for the kids. Yeah, it, it really does. You know, when you, when you can, uh, you know, one of the things that, that we mentioned, you know, we, we talk about is, you know, and, and I think I, I saw this, Nick Saban said this, uh, talking about like your, your, what was it, your, the difference between your, your ability and how much you're producing, you know, I, I, I apologize, I, I mentioned it, but it, 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 you know, it's, it's all about just achieving it. At what level are you achieving? Are you achieving, you know, where you're at? Or are you, you know, I, I always talk about, we always talk about overachievement, you know, being an overachiever. Um, I don't know how many people have ever seen my wife, but I've always considered myself an overachiever for the last 30 years, you know, and, uh, but I, you know, I think that's, that there, there's a lot to, to, uh, to kids, you know, trying to, trying to get, you know, just reach down uh, inside yourself and try to be better than what you, you know, what you really are. And, and uh, I think when, when that happens, you know, we, we weren't that kind of a team early in the season. I think that, you know, when you when you can achieve certain things, you can play better. It, it gives you confidence, and then, you know, uh, I mean, you know, Cade Wilson. You mentioned Cade Wilson. Cade Wilson may not start for very many people uh, in in the COC or in Class Five football in Missouri. But man, he he is the epitome of our program. He's just a, a tough, hard nosed kid. Uh, shows up with a smile on his face every day. Works hard. Never complains. And and man, he. You know, he's just a gritty, gritty kid, and and uh, just love that kid to death. And and uh, what he's done for us, you know, is in the, you know, had a really impressive year for us. And we we'll talk about Holt a little bit now. They're undefeated, but going back to your marital status, yes, you you outkicked your coverage, coach. <laughs> yeah, it's been said before. <laughs> Very good. Now Holt's coming in at thirteen and zero. Uh, what do you know about Holt? What are you going to have to do there? What are the challenges? Yeah, they're terrific. You know, uh, when you watch them on film, gosh, they they have uh, they have a lot of, of speed. The thing that jumps off the screen at me is just, you know, how hard hard their guys play, just their speed and their athleticism. You know, I, I understand they lost their their starting quarterback, uh, who was just a phenomenal player, and then you know the backup comes in and and goes ninety some yards for a touchdown. You know, so. I mean, they're they're a, they're a really deep team. Got a lot of really good players. Uh, you know, if you break them down and you start watching their offense, uh, you know, they get the back they they play. I mean, he's as good as we've seen. Uh, just a just a really talented young man. Uh, not you know, they got a couple kids. They're not you can you can see it on film. They're not really tall, but man, they're they're really put together, really strong, really really physical, and they're fast. They're quick. Um, you know, they've got a couple, uh, several targets, you know, receiving wise, uh, you know, that, uh, but, but there's a couple of those guys too, that, you know, if you, if you don't tackle them, if you're not there when they catch a football, I mean, they, they could be by you before you know it. So, uh, you know, they, they do a really good job. Uh, they're not real complex. I don't think offensive, they just, they have a really good offensive line. They line up and, and push people around and get in front of you and, and, you know, a little back makes cuts, uh, and, and, you know, then they do a really good job throwing the ball. Defensively, um, you know, this is a team that is built on speed uh, and physicality. I mean, they, they're they're fast. Their D linemen get off the ball extremely fast, and they're not overly big, but, 
they're really effective, uh, you know, getting off the ball fast. Uh, and, and, and again, they're, they're linebackers. I mean, they're downhill players, uh, secondary guys, their safeties are as physical as we've seen. And, you know, they're, they're, they're a really, really terrific team. I, you can kind of tell that this is, these are, there's probably a lot of guys on the field for them. And I really haven't researched that part of it, but there's probably a lot of guys on their team that have been multiple year starters. I, I would, I would guess, uh, you know, just looking at them. As you prepare for this this week, you've got a, a somewhat of a short week because you're going to play Friday night at prime time at 7 p.m. Uh, what, what's the preparation like, and when do you head out to uh, Columbia? Yeah, you know, last week, I, that's the hard thing about our, our state championships, one through five being on, you know, the week after Thanksgiving. You know, last week was was the, was the best week of coaching football that a, a guy in Missouri can have, uh, you know, with the semifinal. We should, that was the final week, you know, but uh, – that you, you don't have school for three days. You can practice in the morning. You can meet. You're kind of relaxed. Kids can go home and rest, and and then we get you know come back from that. And then you know so it's certainly a short week. Um, you know we we come in yesterday and, and we're pretty pretty sore, pretty tired, and so we kind of had to pull back a little bit on that stuff. Uh, but you know it's it's a, a Friday night game, seven o'clock. We we will leave out of here mid morning on Friday. Um, you know, it's, we've played in this game, uh, twice now, this time slot and on a Friday night. Uh, and so, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty easy. It's, it's kind of like playing a game that's four or five hours away on a Friday night. Um, you know, the one thing that we're really, our kids are really excited about, our coaches are really excited about getting up there. We're going to try to get up there and arrive around three o'clock, right. When, when, uh, uh, Lamar kicks off their state championship game, because our kids really want to watch them. Uh, our coaches would lo love to watch them and be supportive of them uh, being from our area. So we're going to, we're going to take that game in and then, uh, you know, then, and then, the, you know, like I said the game will be at seven. So heading up, heading up Friday, uh, I'm sure there'll be a little send off here at our school and, and uh, just a really special, special day, special time for these kids. You know, those kind of moments that they'll, they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Outstanding. Well, Coach Roderick, as always, we certainly appreciate you being generous with your time here and uh i have to apologize for the outkick your coverage comment that's what people used to tell me all the time but uh <laughs> hey uh, it, uh it's, it's been nice i mean it's been tremendous just being able to visit with you and go bring back that biggest trophy and we'll do this again next week well that sounds good yeah hey i, I that was my that was my mo man for for years and years i'll kick my coverage and then i i finally started realizing that man i that, that was kind of getting old. So that's where I say, man, I'm the ultimate overachiever. So <laughs> anyways, appreciate you having me on. Hey, you bet. Uh, hey, best of luck and hey, safe travels. God bless coach. Thank you. All right.